It can never be crazy enough, I think, if you're talking about creativity. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I am Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time on the channel, click subscribe right now. After being out of the spotlight for years, Farida Lumucci, aka the mouth of Satan, is back with molasses. Everybody knows Farida as the singer of the phenomenal Devil's Blood, which unfortunately disbanded in 2013. But after a new band was commissioned by the legendary Roadburn Festival, members of the Devil's Blood and Astrosonic came together to form molasses. Farida, thank you so much for your time today. Congratulations on the debut album for Molasses. Today is actually, as we're recording this, the first day that it's available for live streaming. So that's exciting. There's a lot has happened since the, you know, the special commission for the Roadburn uh, Festival that this band was created. So you must be excited to uh, to finally share some music with uh, uh, with with all the fans out there. Uh, how how are you feeling about the launch so far? Pretty good. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I was working today, so it feels a little bit strange that it's out there and I didn't notice and then I opened Facebook and bam. And <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange, but yeah, it's just a normal day, but it's not, you know, so yeah. Uh, I feel good about it. We'll go into the yeah. new music in just a second, but I wanted to ask you a couple of questions first about, you know, how the band came to be and, and about, yeah. you know, your, your personal journey in that as well. Obviously, the world got to know you uh, as the mouth of Satan, uh, the singer of The Devil's Blood. <laughs> After the break of that band, you've mostly steered away from the spotlight. Then a couple of years later, the special invitation from the Roadburn Festival comes um, and then Molasses was created. And I just wanted to mm. you know, ask from you, like, what, what made now, or at least when that invite came, the right time to step back into that spotlight? Well, you know, uh, um, I had so many things to do before. Um, you know, uh, my brother passed away, uh, I had a son, he was 14 at that time, and of course my mother, and uh, they needed me. And uh, so there was, there was no room or time or no, no urgency to do anything else than that. My family was the most important thing and uh, yeah, it, it took some years. I, I, I thought of, 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 of singing or making music again uh, very often, but uh, well, you know, everything has to be right. You have, you have to have some people to do it with. And, you know, it was just, yeah, it took me some time also to, to, to adjust to the new, uh, new uh, ways of my life. And uh, yeah, I assume then also that, you know, uh, your, your son uh, is also quite excited about you know the new the new step in your career with molasses as well well you know my son is 21 and he's living his own life yeah 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 <laughs> that's a good thing uh, <laughs> he, of course he 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 likes uh i mean he's happy for me that yeah. i'm happy with it he, he was at the roadburn show and he likes seeing me on stage and and stuff but he's 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 not a fan or something i think yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah but he's a boy he you know he he uh, he lets me do whatever I want to do and he's, he's okay with it. You know, Molasses as a band, uh, you know, features obviously a lot of former members of The Devil's Blood and also uh, several members who are connected to Astrosonic. Um, you've shared in past interviews um, that uh, nobody, not in including the members of the band, should really make any expectations for Molasses. Uh, this was around the time of the Roadburn show. Um, you know, fast forward to today, not only was an EP released, now there's also the album. Are you still vigilant for setting longer term expectations for Molasses? Or do you feel now that this has really moved from project to band with, you know, a, a vision for the future? It's, it's more of a life uh, thing for me that I try not to have any expectations because 
I think uh, the more expectations you have, the more disappointment you you will get. So I try to you know leave everything open. But of course, of course, there's a uh, a vision. Of course, we're working to to and have some, you know you ha you need to have some goals and uh, yeah yeah. Uh, so yeah, we were having this project and then it started to be come a band and then we knew okay we're going to do more because we we need to write more and there's so much creativity going on we need to do something with that and well now there's an album and we're you know in in i think there's a future uh but i don't know how or when or i mean yeah, we're yeah. writing new stuff and we'll see what happens all right. Well, I mean, one of those uh, one of those expectations that you've mm. shared before that people should not have is um, people should not expect the band to play Astrosonic or the Devil's Blood songs uh, no. during live shows. I was I was I'm one of the lucky ones who got to see the Devil's Blood. Um, I think I saw you guys also play on Hellfest in 2012. For those people that are only now discovering, also with the release of Molasses, you know, all the back catalog, is is that story a hundred percent? over or will they ever have a chance to just to hear these songs live no they won't i mean uh it, you know the devil's blood ended in 2013 and it's yeah. it's it's over and i made a pact with my brother uh that it was done and we yeah. would never do it again <clears throat> because yeah so no yeah <laughs> <laughs> no that that's that's a very that's a that's a very straightforward and, and fair yeah. answer molasses to me, at least, has a much more varied sound. There's definitely also more psychedelic influences. And you, you said that you're already, you know, writing potentially new material. How is the music evolving for Molasses? Yeah, I think the, the psychedelic part is a very big part of that. Uh, we all uh, have, are very much influenced by all the uh, psychedelic bands from the 60s and the 70s. So <clears throat> I think we will stay in that sauce, or I don't know how you say that. <laughs> I don't know exactly what is going to be the next uh, album or the next uh, whatever we're going to make, but uh, I think we'll stay a little bit in this uh, area. Yeah, it fits well, I think so. So far, my favorite tracks are, you know, um, The Devil Lives for sure, but also uh, I Am No Longer. And, and, and those songs really like they, they drag you in, uh, I find, mm. into that whole psychedelic dream almost. Are there specific songs for you that stand out? That's a difficult question, uh, uh, actually, because uh, they are all special to me, mm -hmm. in a way. The whole album is very special to me, uh, for many reasons, for obvious reasons also. Uh, I think, you know, Through the Hollow, the, the, the opening song is very special because mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, the first thing I worked on together with Oots way 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 back yeah that for me that songs stand very symbolic for the beginning of this mm -hmm. so I think maybe that one uh, comes out yeah but I, I they are all special to me yeah yeah in the song that you reference one of the lyrics that stand out for that is I have no more bridges left to burn kind of showcases mm -hmm. that whole you know this is a new thing rebirth I'm ready for it Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's also it's a it's a fair statement. I think this song because it's so uh, totally different. Therefore, we also chose it as the first single and and to be the opener uh, of the album. Like, okay, uh, this is something completely different, and here you have it, and just eat it, you know. And like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Another song that stands out, I find, is a uh, corpse of mind. It feels like there's like the sound of a heartbeat, you know, flowing through the song yeah. almost. What's the what's the story behind that? Well, it, at, at first it was a it, it was a total different song. 
it was more of a rock song actually yeah 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 but 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 we just uh, started peeling because it was not uh, it didn't feel right or something okay. so this was was what was left and uh, yeah I like it very much I, it's, yeah it's also a favorite of mine but they yeah. are as I said before it it shows the variety of the album for sure because you know all the songs that we already referenced are all even though they're all considered psychedelic rock they are all very different for sure the concept of moving forward and, and rebirth is, is 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 very key and is central in the entire album yeah is it my and maybe i'm maybe i'm just you know letting my creativity go too crazy but is it also my correct interpretation that the way that the album flows is exactly that because it feels that every song drags you more and more into this you know like a transcending you know darkness if you will which then culminates in the instrumental track tunnel and at the end of that tunnel at the light of that tunnel we go into you know the devil lives which is this massive epic song that is feels also a little bit more uplifting from the music it so it feels like as a listener i kind of you know went through this journey and get and am reborn now am i reading into it way too much or is there something be, if there's something there well yeah it's always so funny that that lot you know everyone has their own interpretation and i think it's a good thing so you started this uh, question with say your imagination got crazy but or no your creativity got a little yeah, bit yeah. crazy but it can never be crazy enough i think if you're talking about creativity but i don't think that we all uh, did it on purpose uh, okay. as you mentioned it now but it it turned it turned out to be uh, like that but you know for us it was very clear that that that, that the album uh, needed to start with uh, through the hollow and end with the devil lives mm -hmm. and then you 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 know some songs belong to each other because of of, of the story that's been being told and and, and but you know you, it's always um, a search to do it right and and yeah. i mean if, if you see it like that i think we managed quite well The album is live now. There was a lot of buzz. A lot of people got very excited uh, when you know the news came out that this was not just a one-time project, but mm -hmm. an album was being created. What you know is is the band and the label working on on additional things to promote the album that you know the fans should know about? Well, we're working on something, but I don't. I I think I can't tell you anything about. Oh, that's yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> I don't know if I can already <laughs> say something about it, but. But uh, no, we're, we're working on something really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what it is because it's in the very uh, uh, early uh, stages. In the early stages, exactly. And uh, but it's um, if 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 we can uh, finish that in the way we want it to, um, then we will have something really special and uh, uh, that would um, uh, yeah create some some great opportunities. So. We're okay. working on it, yeah. All right, so we should get yeah. prepared to have our minds blown uh, wow, by wow. molasses. That sounds very ambitious, but... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very ambitious, but at least something that could uh, uh, keep you busy for a okay. while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting, interesting, okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, I mean, you also mentioned, uh, you know, earlier that you're, you know, you're, you're already thinking about, you know, the new music and writing, so um, does that with this forced lockdown a little bit, uh, you know, no time for shows. Um, is the band then already actively working on new material? Yeah, yeah, yes, we are. That's awesome. Yeah, because what else is there to do, you know? You need to do something. I mean, it, it was very obvious that there was so much uh, uh, creativity left. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, and so, so we just went on and um, we're doing that right now, so yeah. A lot of cool things to uh, to look forward to clearly from the molasses camp hang in there i would say <laughs> yeah 
We will, we will. Well, you yeah. know, if you guys keep releasing cool material like us, then the fans can hang in there uh, and listen to the songs. So that definitely helps in this weird time that the world yeah, is locked down. Definitely, yeah. We'll work well, on it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, Farida, thank you so much for your time today. I do appreciate it, and um, I'm super excited for the new album. And uh, I look forward to learning more surprises. Thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. You are awesome for watching that video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.